This video is not sponsored by Marvel Rivals. In my 20 years of playing video games, I've seen a lot of games come and go, but the few games that come and stay have two things in common. One, they have a unique twist to them that makes them special, and two, they're just a good video game. So many people are caught up with video games looking like another video game that they're forgetting that as long as a game is fun, who really cares? And that's especially true with today's game that we're talking about, Marvel Rivals, because it looks eerily similar to another video game that I've been playing for over seven years now, Overwatch. But I think you guys also gotta remember that Overwatch looked eerily similar to another game that came out years ago. And say what you want about Overwatch, but back in 2016, it won game of the year for a reason, but could we potentially be seeing history repeating itself? Could we potentially be seeing the replacement of Overwatch right before our very eyes? I don't think so. A lot of people will see this video coming from an avid Overwatch player and think that they're gonna be biased towards their favorite video game. But remember, there is no bigger hater of Overwatch than an Overwatch player. And I was excited to see what Marvel Rivals was gonna be like. So I went into the practice range, I insta-locked Spider-Man because that is my favorite hero of all time. And I know it's, man, Spider-Man's really hard. So let me try a different character. And the first thing I noticed is that Marvel Rivals doesn't just look like Overwatch, but it also plays just like Overwatch. Overwatch. You might be thinking, it's like, yeah, it looks like Overwatch. No, no, no. It plays which is way too close to Overwatch. The Hulk ults just like Winston and dies like Baby Diva. Black Panther's hero kit is just like Genji's hero kit. And Star Lord, dude, this is just Tracer. There's no getting around it. And his ult, dude, his ult is just Tack Visor from Soldier 76. What? That doesn't make it a bad game. Remember what I said, as long as a game is fun, that's all that matters. But I also said, as long as a game is unique. So what makes this game unique? Well, it's the obvious IP, it's the characters. It has all of our favorite superheroes in one shooter game. And that, that is gonna be the key as to why Marvel Rivals is not only gonna bring hype, but is also gonna be relevant for at least the next couple of years because it has some of the most popular characters that people can just get drawn to. Like, I don't really think I emphasize how cool it really is to see some of our favorite superheroes that we watched growing up in one game fighting each other. And especially with a mechanic where they're able to pair with each other, like with Groot and Rocket Raccoon, where you both can benefit from each other, is a super sick mechanic that really separates itself from Overwatch. And I think in a character-based shooter, that is one of two things that can really make or break the video game. Other people argue other things, but I really think it's based on the characters and the gameplay. And I really think that's the simple formula to having a good video game. And when it comes to the gameplay, Marvel Rivals is... It, it's not what I expected. Like when you look at the objectives, you either capture a point, you move a payload, or you do a hybrid of both, where you capture a point and then move the payload. And look, I understand that I said that the formula for Overwatch 2016 works, so why would it matter if you're just having a Marvel coat of paint? But when I'm playing the game, I'm just thinking to myself, man, I could be moving a payload in Overwatch. Why am I moving it here in Marvel Rivals again? Oh, it's because I can fly like Iron Man. And look, this is the part of the video where people say, oh, you're just nitpicking, but it's the honest truth. When you go into Marvel Rivals with a vision of how Iron Man's gonna be played, you would be very disappointed to see that this is how fast Iron Man can fly. When in the movies, he can fly at supersonic speed and he's gonna, he's gonna be able to shoot things from out of his hand and rockets are gonna be coming out of his back. It's just, that's just not the excitement that you get when playing Iron Man. In fact, it's kind of the complete opposite where you kind of find out, it's like, man, not only does Iron Man feel like a worse Pharaoh, but he just feels like a worse Iron Man. Now clearly let's do the balancing because we can't have Iron Man flying at supersonic speed because he wouldn't be able to be shot down. But the reason why I bring this up is because I feel like when it comes to a video game, you have a pre note of how a hero is gonna be ran. With Iron Man's case, you expect him to be flying all over the place super fast, but you also expect him to be flying very fluid, like very easily. And when it comes to a lot of the flowing characters, which is a good portion then because Marvel Rivals, it's all about flying in the air and staying in the air because, well, they're superheroes, that's what they do. 
it feels like half the time I'm pulling on these heroes with a rope rather than actually being the hero. If I can bring out an old meme, I feel like it's very important in a superhero game to feel like you're Spider-Man. Like with Iron Man and Storm, it, it doesn't feel good to fly with these characters. But a hero like Spider-Man, like I understand that maybe I just gotta practice with this Spider-Man swinging mechanics, but I went into this hoping that we would have a fluid PS4 type of swinging and we got nothing like that. It is so, so hard to swing with that guy. That is the biggest reason as to why I was kind of turned off by Spider-Man. Like, I think movement is such an underrated part of the game. When you're doing it 100% of the time, or maybe 90% if you're dead, the other 10%, which in my case, maybe 20%. <laughs> but it's sad when swinging is not that great for Spider-Man. Flying is not that quick for Iron Man. And even jumping with the Hulk doesn't feel all that satisfying. Like, when you slam, you just kind of just like... Oh, uh, you land, you know, HULK SMASH! And that's why I said going into Marvel Rivals is not really what I expected because I expected this superhero game to feel like other superhero games that I played in the past. And you just can't have that notion because in those games, you don't really have to balance around that character where in this, you have to balance around Spider-Man and Iron Man and Doctor Strange and the Hulk and Groot and Black Panther and Storm and all these epic beings. Yeah, sometimes they won't feel like powerful beings. But I think that's where some disappointment can come in because then that kind of makes the gameplay not feel all that fun. And I hesitate saying that because I don't want to say Marvel Rivals is not fun because it's a fun video game. But you want to know what makes it even more fun? Somebody that is a hardcore Marvel fan. Because here's what's going to happen. Yeah, a normie like me, I'm willing to admit I'm a normie, got really excited for Spider-Man. And then when I tried Spider-Man, I noticed, ah, I don't really like the swinging. And then when I played Spider-Man, I was like, ah, Spider-Man's not all that good. And when I tried Iron Man, I was like, ah, man, Iron Man's not that great. Who's got Scarlet Witch? Oh, well, I've never seen a Scarlet Witch movie and I enjoy playing them, but uh, no, I don't really want to play them tomorrow. I'm just going to play Overwatch tomorrow. Whereas a Marvel fan, they're going to look at Overwatch and be like, I don't really care about Overwatch and its gameplay. Oh my god, Marvel Rivals? I, I can be Spider Man? I, I can be Doctor Strange? I can, I can go around as Black Panther? Phew, 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 phew! And then call it all! A true Marvel fan is not going to care about a Spider Man swing mechanic that much because they have so many other characters that they recognize that they can spend their time time playing like yeah even if they're not the biggest Luna Snow fan at least they know about that superhero and if they like their hero kit then they're gonna learn to love Luna Snow in this version of a superhero game and I think that's just the conclusion that I have for Marvel Rivals is that this this is a fun game do not get me wrong it's similar to Overwatch but for the people that don't care about Overwatch and that really love Marvel this is the game for you. This isn't a game for Overwatch players. This isn't a game for Apex or Valorant players. This is a game for people that just really enjoy Marvel that want a formula that has worked in the past in Overwatch formula. So if you're the biggest Marvel fan, then you're going to find comfort in this game. If you're a normie and only really know Iron Man, the Hulk, and Spider-Man and characters like that, you're not going to enjoy this game as much as someone that has studied Marvel inside and out, especially if you even dabble in Overwatch a couple of times a month, because you're going to be thinking to yourself, man, I don't really care for these other characters, and I could be playing Overwatch, so why don't I just play Overwatch? But guys, that is going to be my one and probably only take on Marvel Rivals, because some people wonder if I'm going to be swapping to Marvel Rivals, and no, because I enjoy Overwatch 2 still, just like the people that don't enjoy Overwatch that enjoy Marvel will probably enjoy Marvel Rivals. But until it fully releases, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to return. And I'll see you guys later. I love you guys and bye.